Hello everybody and welcome to uh, my daily cooking video. Today I'm cooking wild venison shanks. I know it's pretty summery and sunny but you know slow cooked food's gorgeous food but the difference is I'm going to do it outdoors. I'm going to use my fire bowl, a nice heavy pan and I'm going to cook them in a little casserole. It's going to be awesome. So where to start? Well I've got my shanks here, two shanks because there's just two of us and uh, I've marinated them in some oil and let's go over to the fire bowl and I'm going to get these babies browning. <clears throat> Fantastic. I'm going to season these babies up. nice colour on them. I love these big heavy pans, we use them in restaurants, they're, they're just great, you can put them on direct fire, cast iron really, really sort of um, gets the heat through and they're just lovely to cook on. The objective here though is just to brown it so there's some real caramelisation on the meat and while that's browning away in our pan we're going to go and chop up some ingredients to put in the pot. So I've got some onions here that I've peeled and cut in two quarters and the idea of that is I want to really brown them up in this hot pan and I want them to um, I want them to caramelize and it gives you a really meaty flavor and then I've got a clove of garlic a bulb of garlic here and I'm going to rip the bulbs out the cloves out one by one like that and then I'm going to throw them in So I'm just making an aromatic base for our shanks because I want this to be super tasty. So I've got bacon, I've got celery and I've got carrot, all really coarsely cut. There we go, I just went and grabbed some thyme and rosemary from the garden and uh, I'm going to lift the shanks out, add all my ingredients there into the pan, they can all go in together. A bit more of that, come on let's go over and have a look. So this is what I'm going to cook the shanks in. Slippery little suckers. There we have one. That's it. They just fit beautifully in our pot there. Add a little bit more oil. Make sure we've got lovely flavoured onions there, caramelised onions. Starting to burn a little, that's good. Herbs. Now let's have a look in here as the rest of my flavour ingredients go in. Now, I think these are going to add real oomph to this. I'm adding some beautiful cherry tomatoes, they're very ripe, they're almost squishy, they've been in the fridge a little while, but for what I'm doing now, that's just stunning. We're gonna, it's just going to give everything loads of flavour and it's going to add depth, tomato adds real depth to a dish. And Now I've got here some of our gorgeous restaurant Woodsman stock. Now this is like our, our finishing sauce, so it's a sort of gorgeous beef bone cooked down flavor. And uh, you can use like re ready bought stocks. There's really good ones available now. So you add that, it's all jelly like. And got some Chianti. I'm gonna add a comfortable amount of Chianti. 
half a bottle, to be technical. Okay, so lift this off. <sighs> Out comes the, the frame. Now the radiated heat from around will get that really hot, really, really fast. I may have to pull some coals out and here it's going already, but it's gonna cook those shanks in about an hour to an hour and a half till they're really tender. And uh, to, to add to them, we're gonna serve it, no carbs, because we're trying to be good in lockdown. We're gonna do in our pan like pan roasted green beans, cherry tomatoes, chili, garlic, and olive oil. It's gonna be tasty as hell. So our gorgeous shank sort of braise has had about 40 minutes now so i don't want it to reduce too far and i'm going to use this foil to do that but let's just have a little look oh get in there and have a look at that <laughs> i love this cooking technique this surrounding the pan with heat but it's not absolutely direct so i'm going to drop that on there and then put the lid on and that will create a bit of a seal now that'll stop it evaporating too fast. Steam will still get out, but not too quick. And that will mean that uh, she can carry on braising for as long as it needs. And obviously the temperature will go down and down and down as the charcoal burns away, but there'll be enough radiated in to finish the job. If you haven't got a big fire bowl, then I suggest what you do is just dig a shallow pit in the garden, line it with charcoal, push it out, do the same thing. Now, the evening's moving on. My shanks look amazing. I've poured in the rest of the wine throughout the cooking process as it evaporates and it now looks delicious. They're having a last bubble and in my other pan now, I've got to make our little side dish, which is going to be gorgeous. So come with me. So good olive oil in the pan, into it. Some garlic, gorgeous garlic cloves. Here, I've got a tiny bit of Scotch bonnet chili adding that in, courgette, and the green beans. It's gonna give it loads of beautiful pepper. Now let's have a little look in the shank pot. Beauty. Now I'm gonna leave the lid off and let that reduce a little bit and get all thick for the next five minutes while the veggies cook. Shanks I've tested, they're falling apart. They're gorgeous, tender, juicy, Whoa. It's gonna be great. Okay, first taste. Oh my goodness. There's something that comes from the, the shank or the, the bottom end of a leg of an animal because the muscle's the most used, it's got all that connective tissue. There's a real sweetness in the collagen, of course, the bottle of red wine, those gorgeous sweet vegetables, none of that's hurt, and that lovely stock. That's just magical. Rich, but delicious, Mediterranean-y, you know, it's just, God, it's gonna be one of my favorite meals. So there, we have our green beans, cherry tomatoes, courgettes, parsley, olive oil, just a tiny bit of chili. And, mm. So, the beans are just what I like. They're al dente, which means they're still crunchy. And that's the joy of cooking them like this in olive oil rather than boiling them. Gorgeous. So, here we go, the moment of truth, the shanks. Oh my God. The hard thing here is making sure they don't fall apart. Oh, they have, but who cares? Look at that. And now I'm gonna spoon up all that onion, carrot, herbs. Wowie. Oh, look. 
So when you should, this is how it should be. When you, when you do that, pull it apart. There's a fat clove of garlic. Like I'm going to eat that. Oh, here we go. Shanks, be they lamb, be it shin of beef, or in this case, a beautiful venison, a beautiful fallow deer. Shanks are just some of the most flavoursome meat in the whole world. It's something to do with all that connective tissue and collagen that runs down through the shin, because of course it's always being worked because of the action of the foot. Whatever it is, when you cook it slow with flavoursome aromatics, wine, vegetables, etc., it's just magic. So please try that. If you can't get venison shanks, use lamb shanks. Um, and when you are butchering your deer, please try to save that shank because it's one of the tastiest bits on the animal. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. I am now going to settle in with my lovely wife, Claude, for a very tasty dinner on this lovely spring evening here in the Cotswolds in England. Please join me again next time when I'm going to cook something else. Mm.